push record. So we should be good to go. All right. Um, so again, welcome. I'm excited and I appreciate you guys taking the time to get on the call. I know that this can be an adjustment, um, but I promise that it is worth every missed episode of TV. It's missed, you know, it's worth every half an hour loss of sleep. And I'm, I guarantee that the more you put into this, the more you're going to get out of it, both financially, physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, this journey has just been awesome in every way, shape, and form. So with that said, um, I just want to address the welcome email. So I hope that you guys got that. If you did not, please let me know. But um, I haven't heard back from anyone that they haven't. So I'm assuming everyone has gotten it. In that email, it's not to overwhelm you. It's simply to share with you and have you have those steps so that you're not waiting on me for a reply or an answer. So when you're first starting out and if you have a question, refer back to that email. That email is going to have the very basic information that you need to get started with your business. So um, make sure you, you know, refer back to that. Your website for people to purchase is through there, your coach ID, the instructions on where to find that and where to find your username are in there. Um, there are different um, descriptions of coaches so that we can decide what kind of coach you are because that changes how I coach you and what we talk about in our one-on-ones. So make sure you tell me what kind of coach you're going to be. Um, and then the attachments in there are going to be key and helpful for you as you go along this journey. So not everything you need in there, you need right now. It's, it's information that I just want you to have in case you have questions. Uh, but the number one thing that I would download and print and keep by you is that new coach checklist. So what that new coach checklist is, is that is not meant to be done all at one time. If you read through it, it breaks it down into sections. So you're going to do a few things and then you're going to set up a call with me. You're going to do a few more things when we get off the call and then you're going to set up another call with me. So if you follow the instructions of the new coach checklist, you're going to get started right and you're not going to feel overwhelmed and things are going to flow very nice. So with that said, I'm going to start going over the power of three. So with Beachbody, how we as coaches build our business and how we make sure we get our stuff done for the day is the power hour. So if you've heard my story, you've heard me say that I've literally built this business the first year with only an hour, maybe an hour and a half, some days two, if I was searching for more content or recipes or did an extra post or something like that or to listen to a call. But for the majority... I built this business on one hour a day and it was what I did in that one hour that made all the difference. So this is what we call your power hour. And this is where you're going to use that power of threes document. So you should have received an attachment power of three that says Saturday through Sunday. And if you print that off, that's going to be super, super helpful for you. If you're um, technology savvy and pen and paper is old school for you, feel free to come up with a system that mimics this, but these are the items that are going to propel your business forward. These are the things that you need to be doing daily. Um, and I'm going to go over the three vital behaviors and that is product of the product. So making sure that you're working out, you're drinking your Shakeology, or if you don't have your Shakeology yet, get some samples. I can mail you some samples um, so that you can try different flavors or you can try it for the first time. Um, but making sure you're drinking your Shakeology and in knowing the benefits of it and why you feel so good on it and what it does for you, as well as your workouts. Um, there's people who start coaching that are, aren't new to exercise, but they're new to Beachbody. So making sure that you're incorporating the Beachbody workouts into your workout routine. So if you're still into CrossFit, do CrossFit. If you still like you know, Pilates or yoga or bar classes, or if you just are, are a traditional gym goer, keep that. That's you. That's, that's people. So people still do those things. So don't negate all that. Just figure out a way to incorporate beach body into your workout routine. So being a product of the product, working out every day and drinking Shakeology. The number two vital behavior is invite, 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 or sharing, or, you know, inspiring and letting people in on your journey. 
And that's exactly what I've done with you guys. So if you're on this call, we've connected in some way, shape, or form because I was either inviting you via my like page or my personal page or through a personal invite. But I want you to not think about the invitation. I want you to think about what happened before the invitation. And before the invitation comes, you know, asking you, what do you do? Why do you want to do this? What would make you a good coach? Why do you want to get started with this challenge group? How many kids do you have? What do you do for work? So you're starting to form those relationships and connecting with people. You're connecting with people and you're connecting the people to a product, not a product to a person. So when you're inviting and sharing, you, I don't want you to be all consumed by this person has to do 21 day fix or this person has to do focus to 25 because that's what I know. I want you to just ask them, what inspired you about me? What part of my story do you connect with? How, how did we meet? Who, you know, how many kids do you have? What do you do for work? Do you enjoy your job? How long have you been doing that? Just asking them questions, even if they're friends and family, just asking them questions in a different way. So that way, like if there ever does, when I should say, if there ever, when the invitation opportunity comes, you know exactly why this is going to help them because you know their struggle and you know their need and Beachbody has a need that they can fill. So that's what we're talking about inviting and that's to challenge groups, to coaching sneak peeks um, and all those types of things. So that's where your hundred list is going to come in handy very, very well. So if you have not written down your 100 list, I, I highly recommend you do that tonight or this week. So that way you can start building off of that list and you're going to go down that 100 list and you're going to just connect with three to five people per day. I like to call them hey girl messages. Um, other coaches in the, in the network do that as well. It's not necessarily, hey, I joined Beachbody, come join my team. It's Hey girl, how are you doing? Hey girl, I saw you know your daughter started school this year. Hey girl, I saw you and Joe went on a date tonight. How was your date? Or just reconnecting. I saw you just got married. Your wedding pictures are beautiful. You know, where did you guys go for a honeymoon? And being interested in them and connecting with them. So so that's what you're gonna do during your power hour, and that's how you're gonna start building and connecting those relationships is working from that list. And those are going to be your three new contacts. And eventually you're going to get to the opportunity where you're going to be able to invite or you're going to post for the challenge group. And that's where you're going to fill the invite spot. Um, the last vital behavior is personal development. And that can be um, books that you're reading. It can be audible books. Um, but something that helps you grow as a person and something that helps you grow in your business. So... What I recommend for new coaches are three books. And the first book is Go Pro by Eric Worre. The second book is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And the third book is The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. So those are all really good business beginning books. Um, Go Pro is going to tell you all about network marketing and how to be a professional network marketer. The Compound Effect is going to tell you how all those daily behaviors those daily invites, those daily additions to your network, those daily workouts, that daily drinking Shakeology are all going to compound into your business. And by staying consistent in those behaviors, you're going to see the big payoff. So it's really important for you guys to dive into that personal development and to learn why we coach and why we teach our coaches the way we do. Um, other books that are great for just positive thinking is Every Day of Friday by Joel Olstein. Um, the, seven meaning, the Seven Secrets to a Meaningful Life is something I'm reading right now, and it's such a great, quick, short read, and that's by David Householder. Um, and then You're a Badass by Jen Sincerno is an awesome, great confidence booster book. Um, so you can have a book for business and have a book for personal growth. Um, but how you split that and how you get that personal development is totally up to you. So for example, when I first started out, my power hour consisted of the first 20 minutes of me adding to my network, those three to five people per day working from my hundred list or from my like page, um, and then answering messages that were in my inbox. So that was the first 20 minutes of my power hour was adding to my network and connecting and building relationships. That 20 or that second 20 minute increment was focused on plugging into my challenge groups, 
whether I was a part of one and I was participating or I was running them. I was posting, I was connecting. So as you are new into this, some of you have done my challenge groups before, some of you have never done them. So for those of you who have never done them, you're going to be plugged into one. The, the next one we have is actually October 12th, so it's kind of a long way away. Um, so we'll chat and we'll, we'll discuss what to do and get the best feel for that. But you're going to check into those groups and make sure you get your post up. And right now, what I would use that for is checking into the team coach training, checking into the team page taking that 20 minutes and learning your, your coach online office and navigating around there. Um, but focusing on your business, your challenge groups, your new coach training, when that starts October 5th is when that will start. That was, that's going to be a great time to check in to my post for that day and to see what the assignment is. Um, and then the last 20 minutes is personal development. If you are someone who has a little bit more time and a little bit more flexibility, or if you have a long commute to work, or if you're like me and you just like to multitask, I like to move my personal development to when I'm driving or when I'm showering, um, because I can overlap it with a task. I'm very like action oriented. So it's really hard for me to sit and read a book and feel like I'm being productive. Um, so I suggest, you know, finding finding tasks like laundry or doing the dishes or cooking dinner and getting audible or going to YouTube and finding something that breathes positivity into your life or listening to old team call, listening to old national wake up calls, um, those types of things just to breathe that positivity into your life. So that's power hour. That's personal development. Um, and that's what you're going to start building this business off of. So the next thing I want to talk about is um, the branding group that I'm actually going to start with you right away on Monday because this is super important and it's one of the biggest questions that I get from coaches um, and you guys are kind of in a limbo time as far as enrolling right now and um, our um, new coach training starting on Monday. So I'm actually, not Monday, I'm actually going to give you the, the seven day branding and posting training tomorrow. I'm going to email it to you. So it's going to be an attachment and there's going to be a step to do each day. Um, and I want you guys to just get a jump on that so you can kind of learn and take this next week to really instill those skills. And then on Monday, I'm going to have you guys go through it again so you can really learn that behavior because posting and branding on Facebook is, is how we build and how we share our journey. So I think it's important and you guys have some time to go through those steps. Um, so I want to make sure you have it in your hand if you want to do that. If you want to wait until Monday, that's totally up to you. But I'm going to send it to you so that you guys have it and you can learn it and you can start implementing those tools right away. Um, so what I just want to tell you about posting just kind of off the bat is I, in the new coach checklist, there is a, um, a check off to share your, your beach body journey, share your announcement as a coach on your Facebook page. So what I mean by that is not necessarily coming out and saying, hi, I'm a beach body coach and just posting your link on Facebook. What I want you to do is take some time and there's an example in that new coach checklist and there is, um, you know, take some time and write down your story and figure out what it is about you that people can connect with. So, so if you've done a Beachbody program, you know, I'm going to kind of walk you through like the timeline of it. Like, how did you feel before Beachbody? Where, what was the moment that you were like, okay, I'm going to do this what was that? What was your transformation? Did you lose a lot of weight? Did you lose a lot of inches? Did you just feel better? Did you have energy better? Um, you know, what, what did you get out of joining the Beachbody experience and what has kept you around? And then why did you decide to become a coach? And translating that into a story, into something that people can read and relate with, with a fun, cute picture and inviting them into you know, a, a free group, which can start Monday or on the 12th. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but inviting them to ask you questions or to message you if you're ready for that. So doing that and com coming out posts, as we like to call it, 
is important and it's um, I want you to take some time and kind of write that out and cultivate it and come up with a cute picture whether it's you know you working out and or you all dressed up or you with your family um, however you feel comfortable but make it about you in this new journey so it should be a fun uplifting picture um, so follow the script follow the template in there for the new coach checklist it's just like an italicized blurb but follow that and you can create your own story. And if you want to send it to me before you post it, that's totally fine. But I definitely want you to tag me in it so I can make sure to read it and see it in my notifications. So the other thing is, is I don't want you to pop on your Facebook page and feel like you have to post sweaty workout photos and say, and say to Max 30 done for the day. Like I want you to like think about, you know, what, what was going through your head that morning? Like, did you not want to work out and now you did? Like, think about how you're feeling and how that post can inspire somebody and not just show them that you worked out. Or, you know, my new thing has been getting up in the morning. Like, I don't want to just post about, oh, I just woke up at 5.45, like here's my gold star. But what has that done for me? What has waking up at 5.45 or 5 and and investing that hour into myself before my day starts. What has that done for me, for my family, for my business, for my health? And that's what I want to share. So what did that workout do for you? What, um, you know, how did Shakeology help you? Instead of just posting a picture of you with Shakeology and say, yum, got my Shakeology in for the day. You know, what was going on in that moment? I like to share that it's my meal on the go. And when I'm running out the door, you'll probably see it tomorrow. I'll have my psychology in hand and I'll be running out the door to take my kids to preschool. And my post is not just going to say something about, you know, psychology on the run. How is this helping me? What is this doing for me? And what did it save me from? So not just posting to post, but posting to make sure that there's content, there's value. And I know you're probably sitting there going, well, what do I have to offer? Just think about things and think about posts that motivate you on Facebook and turn that into your own life. Like, kind of what I just said, like, working out, you know, what did it do for you? Did you wake up and not want to do it, but then you push play and you push hard for 30 minutes and you know it's taken care of for the rest of the day, and that's a freeing feeling, and you put yourself first? Like, think of how you can inspire someone in that moment and post those things. The other thing about that is do not, you know – Focus on more than just beach body and fitness. So I want you to write down 10 things that make you, you. What hobbies do you like? What kind of foods do you enjoy? Where are you from? Do you like to travel? Are you a new mom? Are you a mom of, you know, four or five? Do you have toddlers? Do you have newborn? Do you, um, do you bike? Do you, you know, like to fly planes? Do you sail? Do you take cruises? Like, you know, do you like flowers or stars or what about you is there? Are you a runner? Are you a weightlifter? Do you do bikinis? Like what about you can you post and share and let people in a little bit in your life? Because that's what you're going to start rotating those posts and posting about in, in that way. And we're going to go over this stuff in that, in that branding training as well. So the other thing is I want you to not be afraid to fail at first. Every single coach that starts has failed. They've either put up a crappy Facebook post, they have failed a coach, they have failed a challenger, they've had challenge groups that flop, they've missed success club, they've not sold anything for weeks, they haven't connected, like everyone has failed and it's okay to fail because it's in that failure that we're able to learn from our mistakes and do better next time. So don't be afraid to fail. It's it's not going to be something that comes easy. It's not going to be something that is always natural for everybody. And it's not something that, that money's not going to start flowing in. It's a business. It's a job. And you have to show up for that. And But you have to show up with, with the attitude and with the expectation that you're going to fail. But you're going to get back up because you have an awesome team behind you that's rooting for you. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is success club and what that entails. So... Hopefully you've navigated around your coach online office and um, you've heard the term success club and what that means is success club is, is Beachbody's benchmark to help you 
shoot for a goal each month. So you're not just going out there trying to say like, oh, enroll people. No, they want to give you a goal because when we set goals and we accomplish those goals, we feel good about ourselves and we want to keep going. We want to keep accomplishing those goals. So Beachbody created Success Club. So we have Success Club 5 and Success Club 10, and I'm just going to go over 5, um, and then 10 is doubled. So for each challenge pack you per that is purchased through your site or Shakeology Home Direct that's purchased through your site, Shakeology Home Direct is one point and challenge packs are worth two points. So you want to hit Success Club 5 at least. So that means at least three challenge packs, which is three people, or two challenge packs and one check out to home direct, which is five points. So that's why we say you, like we strive to help three people per month because if we strive three people per month, we're hitting our goal and that's awesome because we feel great when we hit goals and we feel great when we help others start working towards their goals. So that is Success Club. Now Success Club will start over each month. So on the first of the month, everybody starts over. But this is why we run challenge groups. We run challenge groups and we invite people to these challenge groups with our challenge pack toolkit. And the challenge pack gives you your program, your psychology, 30 days to on demand. And we create the value in the, the challenge group and bundle it with the challenge pack. And this is stuff that we're going to teach you in that new coach training as well. So that success club. Beachbody has what they call success starter, which means um, we celebrate the people who start their business off with the right foot and that's hitting success club five or higher for the first three months of your business. So for you, if you're joining in September, um, because it's the end of September, they give you October. So it'll be October, November, December, or September, October, November. So if you do hit success club five before the end of this month, you'll go September, October, November. Um, but what this does is it helps you earn your ticket to our coach summit in July. So that's going to be Nashville. It's our big coach event. It's awesome. There's live trainers. It's just a ton of energy, but they will gift you the $300 ticket for starting your business off on the right foot. So that success club and success starter. My goal for every single one of you on this call is to be a success starter by the end of December. So we're going to help you help three people over the next three months take steps towards their health and fitness. Now, the other goal that I set for my coaches is to, to rank advance and to build their team to an Emerald coach. And I set the bar at six to seven weeks. Six weeks is awesome. If you can give yourself a little promotion within six weeks of the business, that's just going to help your income. That's just going to help more people become healthy, fit, and on their way to financial freedom. So what Emerald does is it helps you. Um, what, what Emerald is, is it means you have two active coaches underneath you. So they have two people, let's just make it easy, that are drinking Shakeology. Um, so this is a spouse. It could be a family member, or it could be someone who's joined a challenge group. Um, or it could be someone who wants to work the business with you. This is an awesome time to invite people um, who you think would make great coaches because they can join you in all of this training going on and be trained right along with you. So Emerald, two active coaches underneath you. What's the big deal about Emerald? When you turn Emerald, you start receiving team cycle bonuses. What that means is that programs have a volume added to them. And that's how you start making, um, I don't want to say more money, but that's how you make the, the bigger amounts of money is that team volume beneath you in that cycle bonus. So what I want you to do is go into your coach online office, go to news and training, and you're going to go to Emerald coach and you're going to see a list of tools and what you need to know. And I want you to watch the team cycle bonus video. And that's going to explain what that is and how you make um, the bigger, more abundant money with team cycle bonuses. You also get um, customer program leads and success club program leads when you hit success club five. So let me break it down for you. The first month I went to hit success club five. If you rank advance to Emerald, that next month and month two, you're going to hit Success Club 5, which means you're also going to gain that team cycle bonus because you're Emerald. 
but that also means you're going to get one or two customer leads and maybe a success club program lead, which is someone on Chicology. So just by you rank advancing in your first month to Emerald, by just inviting two more people to go along this path with you, you're going to increase your income by just doing those simple daily behaviors anyway. So that third month, again, you're going to get your success club five, you're going to get your customer leads, and you're going to get your team cycle bonus. And that's why Emerald is so important. And I made the mistake of never mentioning Emeralds to new coaches until they started to hit success club. But I realized I was not doing them any Thing good because they were still miss they're missing out if one you don't have that goal to strive for and two like you're leaving you're kind of leaving money on the table if you're already hitting success club that means you're missing your team cycle bonus and not getting those customer leads if you're hitting success club you need to be emerald it just makes sense um, makes sense mo- the most sense financially so that's my goal for you, especially, you know, by six weeks is my goal for you to be Emerald. If you don't make it, it's not, I don't want to say I'm going to like fire you or get mad at you. I just like to put that goal out there for those who are wanting to move this business forward. That's an awesome goal to accomplish. And um, people have done it in the last six weeks. I've seen, you know, several coaches rank advanced to Emerald and take their business to the next level. So that's what I have for you, your power hour, grabbing some personal development books. If you need the ones that I mentioned again, you know, message me and I can send that to you. Um, starting the branding training, I'm going to email you that, how to post on Facebook, what not to do, how to do your coaching story, not being afraid to fail, success club and benefits of Emerald. So I know that was a lot of information and this call was recorded. So you can go back and listen um, on your drive to work if you need to and kind of refresh yourself in the morning. But I'm going to unmute you and I just want you guys go ahead and chime in. Just say who you are because I can't see faces. So just say who you are first and then go ahead and ask your question. So you should be able to ask if you have anything. Can you hear me, Brittany? Yep. Okay, this is Elizabeth. Perfect. Um, Okay, so just kind of going off of what you were talking about with the Emerald Coaching. um, So say that I do have two girls that I think would be interested and I invite them along. Do they just simply hop right on your coach training or do I just dive right into training them on my own? No, they're welcome to join us in everything. So... Okay. Um, up until you're kind of a diamond or like a solid diamond coach, you'll invite all of your coaches to join my new coach trainings, hop on my what is coaching calls. You have the opportunity to do that. Um, if you are ready to take it on, you know, in four or five weeks or, you know, whenever, mm-hmm. you can totally do that too. But in the very beginning, like if you have two people that are like, yeah, I want to do this with you we'll, we'll schedule a call like this and we'll do it this way. and We'll get them plugged into the new coach training as well. Gotcha. Okay. And then one more question real quick. Um, you actually, you were right. You totally hit on like everything that I was going to ask you. That was a lot of info. Yeah. Um, but when you were listing the different books, you had said there was a confidence booster book that you recommended. Which the one was that? The you are a badass is just like if you if you read it, it just because I think you said that you have that one. Do you have that one or no? Oh, do I? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yep, that's the one I just started. Okay. Um, that just the the way she says things and kind of puts it into perspective. It's like yeah, like why can't I do that? Or I told totally yeah. you that. Um, but just. So one thing that I've learned with coaching and one thing that even just the last 30 days I've really implemented is taking those aha moments that you're reading in those books that say like, why can't I do that? Or I want to do that and highlighting them and writing them down in another piece of paper and making those positive affirmations for yourself every single day. That's so funny. I already started highlighting. (laughs) So go back and like take those little highlighted parts and get a sheet of paper and like wherever, if it says something like, I don't know, like if, if it said someone told her she couldn't be a business owner, you know, write down in, on your paper, like I have what it takes to be a business owner. I have what it takes to build this business. I have what it takes to 
X, Y, Z yeah. and start saying that to yourself and you'll start to believe it and okay. start to live it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, that's, um, I don't know who else is on this call. I feel like I'm just talking to you right now. I can't see names. I can't see. I just see phone numbers. Uh, um, uh, it's Melissa I just, here. Uh, I don't think you can see me, though. I don't know. <laughs> no, it just says Michael's iPad. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my husband. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm here. Do you have any questions? Um, You know what? Uh, I had to probably go back and listen to all this because I think my yeah. signal was kind of going in and out. But mm -hmm. I think the main thing for me was the whole branding and the posting and Facebook. I don't, I've seen a lot of people post where it's just awkward and judgy and I need to learn how to not be that way. <laughs> and I feel like you do a really good job at your post. Well, thank without, you. I think yeah, without sounding like you're talking down to people or it's, it's really, it, it can be really hard and I've definitely had to develop thick skin. Um, and more so like just for you guys' comfort with this, like I have to develop more for thick skin, not because of strangers, but because of those who are closer to me who might not necessarily understand what I'm exactly doing behind the scenes. Um, yes, exactly. So, you know, they exactly. see posting post-workout photos and sports bras and eating these super clean pills <laughs> and, you know, whatever, and they're like, you're getting paid to do this. And in a sense, I am, but they don't see the calls like this. They don't see you know, just the, 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 the emotional and the mental and like the, the just passion behind to see other people achieve those goals. Um, but then when you're first starting this out, it's, it, I mean, I'm not going to share code. It's scary because it is hard not, it's really hard to not think about what other people are going to say or how they're going to react. Um, and that's why personal development is so huge and we didn't really talk about this, but knowing your why and why are you a coach and what do you want out of this opportunity? And when you, when you have that why, I could care less what anybody else says about what I'm doing because this is providing so much for my family and for me, the growth that's happened as a person. So I don't, I mean, that's a whole nother conversation, but, um, but just think about your why. And, you know, if it's financial, that's fine. Like, don't hide that fact. Um, if it's for personal growth, that's great. I started because I wanted something for me. I was a new mom and I loved fitness. And I was like, well, now I'm a new mom and I don't do fitness. <laughs> like, how can I get back into it? <laughs> and now it's grown into this thing where this fitness thing is going to bring my husband home. And you know, that is a, I could care less if it's going gonna, it's gonna to help save my, like provide an awesome future for my family. I'll post it to get that one hater. Like, hell yeah, girl. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and you'll, you'll learn and you'll, you'll know like, Oh, I'm going to hear it from so-and-so on this post. <laughs> but that training will really help you um, just kind of learn about, what to do and how to do it and not to come off in a salesy way, but to come off in as a, you know, I'm just sharing my journey to inspire you and to, to help you. So. Okay. Awesome. I think, yeah, I think that is definitely going to be like my biggest struggle initially, which it sounds like I'm not alone in that. So that definitely no, helps. Definitely not. No, it's, it, it, and, and even so like, some I like I always say the word older and I think some people get mad veteran coaches <laughs> that <laughs> um you know we we still all have that that like uh because because you shift and your your niche shifts and your thoughts shift and it just you kind of change and you grow along the way and so things are always changing so I think there's always that like little you get over how people react but there's always that little fear or just like yeah hopefully or I, maybe I should say fear but hopefully this gets taken in the context that I'm meaning it to get taken and not another way or something so right um but we'll do that and I, that's how I start off the new coach training is with that seven-day branding and posting training so I'm actually going to send it to you guys 
So you have it. I want you to have that way. If you decide you want it before the training starts, you can have it and you can learn about it over the next five days. Um, but if it's not something you get to, don't stress about it because we will start that on Monday with the new coach training group. And um, you'll have a post each day in there on what to do. But if, you know, even if you do it through the second time, maybe you'll have a better idea of, of things to, to look for and think of and, and posts and things like that. So it won't hurt you to go through it again. Okay. Anything else? Um, well, it's kind of like Melissa said, I'm sure I'm going to have like so many questions as soon as I hang up and as I go to bed and just think about everything. Um, so I'm probably going to listen through again to the recording, but you seriously, like you covered pretty much all my questions that I had. <laughs> and just, you know, if you have a question, just write it down. Um, shoot me a text message. My number's in the email or a Facebook message. Um, I just ask that, you know, usually it's like, I'll, I'll respond before 24 hours, but I just ask for 24 hours. Um, yeah. And then in the team page, team family safe fit page, the pinned post is there's like six resources to check. If I'm not, if, if I'm not there, I don't answer you or six steps to, to check before you even message me, um, to help you find the answers to whatever you're. Okay. Asking. Um, so that was the pin post? Yeah. So if you go to the team page, if you're on your iPhone, it's going to say view pinned post. Okay. And click that. And that will be a list of resources to use. That's a just... A YouTube, Coach Online Office, team page. Feel free to, to post any questions in that Team Fabulously Fit page. That's there for you guys. It's a resource. Um, you can search in the team page, like, I don't know, like three-day refresh meal plan or something like that, and it'll pull up a post. So if there's something specific, you can type it in, in the search group and, um, and look for keywords, and it'll pull up the, the previous posts. Um, one question I do get a lot towards the end of the month is I will get, so every month Beachbody has new specials. So I will receive the specials for October, um, September 30th, probably around four or 5 PM. And then I'll post that okay. on the page. Awesome. Hey, when, um, when someone purchases something, through us how long until we see that go through does it happen pretty quickly on our end yes Maybe instantaneous okay you should see um so what you'll do is you'll go to your coach online office and the home page of right. your coach online office it'll say you have one new customer if you go scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says my alerts um one new customer you have one new customer and then you can click on that and it'll tell you who it is Okay. So that's how you can find that out. And if you don't see them, you can email coachrelations at teambeachbody.com or ask your, your client and say, hey, you said you ordered. I don't see it. You know, if it's been a day or two, like, do you have your order confirmation or, you know, whatever. And then you can email Coach Relations and get it all switched. So don't panic if it's not there. They can get it to you. Okay. And then... So will our success club points show up right away as well? Or does that happen like weekly or monthly? They'll show up within like 24 hours. So if it, so like, let's say yeah. you were to have someone order tonight, they'll probably show up tomorrow, like in 12 hours because California where okay. this is, is three hours behind us. Mm, gotcha. Cool. But, oh, All right. this is, I'm glad you brought that up Thursday in Beachbody world is kind of our Monday. So on Thursday, everything, I don't want to say everything, everything but success club, success club resets. So on Thursday, that's payday. Mm -hmm. And that is rank advancement day. So let's say on Tuesday, you have your two coaches, they're active, you have your 90 PV and your thing still says you're a coach. Don't panic on Thursday. It will turn into it saying Emerald coach. 
Okay. So Thursday's rank advancements happen. You get paid and you can change to direct deposit by going to my business, my EFT management. So you can set up direct deposit. Okay. And then we'll get paid. So this Thursday, what gets deposited into my check is what my check was last week. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like on Thursday, I'm going to open up my commission on my coach online offices and it's going to say a number. And then that number that I see this Thursday is getting deposited next Thursday. Okay. Great. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing this call tonight. This was really helpful to like actually yeah. talk to you and take a break from reading and watching yeah. videos. <laughs> and we'll do um, team calls, our team family sleep fit calls every Wednesday at 9 p.m. EST. So you guys are both Florida girls, so 9 p.m. Um, Perfect. And I record those. Usually it's just it's more open. It's more conversation, like how this is going on. Like I'm going to have some tips and tools and stuff for you guys in the beginning, but then I like to have you guys talk because you guys do spend time typing at a computer and hearing trainings that it's kind of nice to talk. Um, <laughs> so I'll that and I record it. So if you miss it, don't stress about it. I put the YouTube link up the next day. Um, and because you guys are local, me and some of the other girls on the team are going to go to Super Saturday on October. I'm sorry, Super Sunday. It's October 18th. We're going to go down to Miami. What is that? Super Saturday is they have them every quarter. So they start at like sometimes like 9, 930 and they'll have trainings for us via corporate. So each Super Saturday is different. Um, but corporate puts together like an hour presentation of like new products, new tools, um, success stories, coaching tips, challenger tips. Um, Miami usually does like a biggest loser. So they bring local people who've done the beach body challenge and they share their story. Um, they'll share maybe a coaching success story. Craig Cowler from headquarters is going to be there this week. Um, or this time. So just to really because we're so virtual, it's just a really fun way to get connected with people in person who yeah. are all like-minded. Um, and then there's usually a workout at the end that somebody will teach live. So, um, I think I am Miami, in. I think the Miami ticket was like fifteen dollars. I think to go. Um, but I can, I'll post the, I'm going to write that down and I will um, post the link to register for that. I'll get like a little thread going or something for all of us that are going to go. Um, but that would be fun. It would be awesome to go to um, and get to see some familiar faces and just to meet people on the team would be great. So I think October 18th. That day. In my calendar, I'm going. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be a good time. So, okay, well, I won't keep you guys much longer. I know everyone's probably wanting to go to bed um, <laughs> up or finish up the house chores or whatever, but I do appreciate you being on. You know, it means a lot to have you guys take the time out um, so early in the game. So, I appreciate that. And I look forward to working with you and I'm excited to see what happens. So, yay, me too. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye, Brittany. Bye.